Point of View with Vice President and General Manager Kevin Hale. At a minimum cost of $68 billion, California's high-speed rail is the most expensive public works project in the state's history. And what the voters approved is a far cry from what they appear to be getting. Proposition 1A, which voters passed in 2008, says the train was supposed to go from Los Angeles to San Francisco in two hours and 40 minutes. But under the current plan, public documents indicate it could be up to four hours. So will people really abandon their cars and planes to take a train that'll shave precious little time off their trip? Here's another key point. The rails were supposed to be electrified, which means high speed. But let's take, for example, the first segment, an unlikely trek from Madeira to Bakersfield. The rail authority says it'll be electrified by 2022. But that's only if they get more money, and right now, they don't have more money. Additionally, the law promised the passengers would not have to transfer trains when riding from Los Angeles to San Francisco. But under the current proposal, passengers could have to transfer trains several times. So Governor Brown, we have some questions for you. Are we really ever going to get a non-stop high-speed train from Los Angeles to San Francisco rather than just Madeira to Bakersfield? And if so, by when? And Governor Brown, show us some real evidence that you can get private funding as opposed to continuing to push for more taxes on overburdened Californians to fund your rail project. Governor Brown, how about some real answers to these questions? Otherwise, it's time to put this project on hold for the good of California. Thanks for listening. I'd like to hear your point of view. Go to myfoxla.com and click on POV or email me directly at POV at fox11.com. But the train goes on until it reaches its destination, California.